YouTube, this is the grand finals of the Meta Weekly and the top decks that come with it. If you want to join the fun, click join on YouTube or subscribe on Twitch. You could check if you have a free sub right here. Click on the sub, see if you have a free trial. If you're lucky, you got it. If not, use your mother's credit card. Now, why would you want to join and or subscribe on Twitch? Well, the Discord. Hop in the Discord, over 46,000 members. It is the best place for free weekly events, free monthly events. I give away about around $300 plus dollars monthly for free entry. These are all the events I provide and how to join them. You'll check that out. It is the largest, most active Dueling's Discord for events, discussions, and help. You want help, questions, and help, deck help. Get your help. Join all the good stuff, spicy win streak decks. These are non-top tier decks with five or more win streaks. People are posting in here daily. The spice is here. Wow, wow, wow. Whoa, that's a lot of win streaks for a Luna Light deck. Good job. 13 win streak, rich. You're going to have lots of deck ideas like that that are not even top tier. So come here for the best ideas, best discussions, best events, best help. Let's hop into the grand finals. There can only be one winner, and you're looking at it. Let's go. Let's go. Music on, in game, we good? Kazuki, turn one, gonna activate the Santa Spectral Sword from the deck to the graveyard with a double, triple back row set. This looks like it is a control Shuranui deck. Spectral Sword in the graveyard next turn will banish a non-tuner to Synchro Shokan. We are in Exceed Era, yet we are summoning Invoker, which has something to do with fusions, and we have Spectral Sword, which has something to do with Synchros. Where are the exceeds, Konami? Activating Invocation. Maybe Cosmic should have played around that. Invocation allows you to use your opponent's graveyard to perform a fusion summon. Banishing the Spectral Sword, that is quite devastating for Cosmic. Summoning a Purgatrio, which will be permanently faced down by the Floodgate Trap Hole. Flip it down. Invoker gonna boost up to get itself in the graveyard before being flipped face down. Now, why would he do this? because he might have another invocation. As he activates the invocation in the graveyard to add the invoker back to the hand and invocation back in the deck, activates a second invocation, banishing the Purgatrio and the invoker in the grave. Otherwise the invoker from the hand would go to the grave, then the invocation cannot add it back to the hand. Come forth Purgatrio number two. No Floodgate, might have a Fiendish Chain or maybe a Ballista Squad to take out and or lock up the Purgatrio. Now the effect of invocation to add back the invoker is a hard once per turn. Exactly what Just I as we expected, a Ballista Squad tributing off his monster to destroy any card in the field, choosing to take out the Purgatrio. Back to Cosmic. Cosmic off the top of the deck, ripping into a semi-limited Squire. That's exactly what he needed. But Fiendish Chain is going to negate her effect of summoning a Tuner from the deck. Does Cosmic have a Lance to negate the chain? No, it is resolving. Cannot attack, no effect. The perfect top deck into the perfect counter. Now, only because he discarded the Invoker on the flip of Purgatrio, ensuring it goes to the graveyard so that he could banish it to add it back to the hand, is why he has this Invoker to summon and search for an Invocation. Activates the other invocation, going back in the deck to grab another invoker back to the hand, which could be discarded to boost up any fusion by 1,000. This is the third and final Purgatrio, but he is not going for the Purgatrio. He's instead banishing the Kazuki to summon an Earth. Earth invoke. 3,000 attack. Has no effect. Going in for 3k, dealing 1,500 over the Squire. Now, what's great about the Earth Invoked is by having no effects, it's immune to Fiendish Chain. You can't even Fiendish Chain it to stop it from attacking because the monster must have an effect. Invocation, add the Invoker back to the hand. Is he going to summon another Purgatrio? Alongside the Earth, summoning Invoker. Now, it's worth noting that Invoker has been limited to three. That means other cards that are limited to three cannot be played alongside the Invoker if you play three Invoker. Straight to battle, not activating the Invocation, going in for 3k damage. This is lethal. 
And just like that, Psycho P taking game number one. My friends have faith in me, but I let them down. Your determination. Time to side deck. <laughs> Summoning turn one, a solitaire, which could tribute itself to summon a tuner from the deck. Summoning a spectral sword. Not the turn to descend to the grave, but afterward, you could banish itself in a non tuner to synchro. So ideally, Cosmic has a way to send the Spectral Sword to the graveyard during Psycho P's turn so that he could follow up, use it with the Solitaire, which will make a level six Synchro, which will then summon the Tuner back on the field to make a level eight Synchro. Alistair the Invoker searching for an invocation. That whole plan can be ruined if he activates the invocation, banishing the Solitaire. Is that what he plans on doing? Likely back row could be Karma Cut, Fiendish Chain, Floodgate, Ballista, no Fiendish. He's got back row himself. Now, if you want to be more direct on what back row they're using, I would look at the tier list for Shiranui. We could look at the control Shiranui is what we are seeing at the top. Needle ceiling at 36%. Ooh, Belisa squad is a back row very likely being played in Shiranui. Belisa squad would be the perfect card to send the Spectral Sword to the graveyard during your opponent's turn. Now, interestingly enough, Psycho P chose to not activate the invocation, banishing the Solitaire to make a Purgatrio. Ends his turn, that's exactly what he has. A Ballista Squad to send that Spectral Sword to the Graveyard to pop a card on the field. Going for a Fiendish Chain. Very good. Now we can activate the Spectral Sword, banishing the Solitaire to make that level six into a level eight Synchro. Will Psycho P have anything to stop it? He's got about three different level sixes he could choose from. Choosing the vanilla Samurai Saga pretty much has no effect, but the Solitaire is gonna summon the Spectral Sword back in the field to summon something bigger. This bigger summon can output 6,000 damage. Will Psycho P stop it from coming out? Are we gonna see a Floodgate flipping down the Spectral Sword preventing a Synchro Summon? maybe saving the Floodgate for the newly summoned Synchro. The newly summoned Synchro could banish the 2500 attack to gain that 2500 attack, becoming 5500, and that will also trigger the Samurai Saga to reduce a monster by 500, which is where I get the 6000 damage number from. You're up a game, game one. If you're up a game, game one, are you willing to play it riskier? Do you play it safe? Do you go high risk, high reward? He's going for that Synchro. Shogun Saga is here on summon as a cost, gonna banish to boost up to 5,500 attack. Now that it's successfully resolved, we know that he is not floodgating. Samurai is going to be reducing. This is 5,000 damage to the face. He's got to stop it. Performing his normal summon alongside that 5,500 attack, Kazuki could send a zombie from the deck to the graveyard. Will it be negated? He did not Fiendish Chain before. What is he going to do? There really wasn't anything worth Fiendish Chaining. Successfully sending a Squire from the deck to the grave. Battle. To battle we go. There's no way you're taking 5,000. He held on to the Fiendish Chain. Held on to it. Lock up the Shogun Saga. Lance making it unaffected by the Fiendish Chain. Gonna reduce him by 800, which is still 4,000 damage lethal. Chaining Ballista Squad to the Lance, making him unaffected by spell and traps. Now, before he becomes unaffected by spell and traps, let's destroy him with the Ballista Squad. Well played. Shogun Saga, when destroyed, will put a Shiranui back into the graveyard, putting the Solitaire back in the grave. Now we have an open field for that Kazuki. Will he go in for 1700 attack? Ends his turn, does not want to trigger Odeon's skill. What is Odeon's skill? Maybe a draw sense skill. Focus, 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 activating the invocation. He could use his opponent's graveyard as part of the fusion summon. He might be banishing the Spectral Sword so that he will not be able to make a Sun Saga with the next turn. Now, Cosmic could have a Lancia. Lancia could negate the invocation from being able to be used. Does not have a Lancia. 
but he's banishing a Solitaire instead of the Spectral Sword to summon a Purgatrio. Purgatrio, 2,500 attack. Will be able to attack all monsters on the field and inflict piercing damage. By banishing the Solitaire, he could activate it to summon a Banisher Nui back on the field, but the Samurai Saga was not properly summoned, so it cannot be summoned. Solitaire had no opportunity to even activate. Invoker, after being added back to the hand through the effect of Invocation, adding another Invocation. Activate Invocation number two. Invocate, banishing the Invoker and the Spectral Sword to create a second Purgatrio. We got 5,000 damage versus 5,700 health with the Kazuki on top. Surprisingly enough, does not have lethal. Unless he has an invoker to discard to boost up for lethal. Does he have it? Yes, he does. Psycho P with the 2-0 victory. Now, we know he's an invoke deck, but what is he playing his invoker with? I don't know because we have not seen it in game one or two. I could just unveil it because I see his deck. Believe it or not, he was playing Magician Girls. Magician Girls with Invoker, and we did not even see a single Magician Girl. Good job. That is the, so technically the most played deck is Kara Curry, followed by Kristrons, then Control Shurinui. What happened to Combo Shurinui? <laughs> what? what happened? Okay, I gotta go back and see what happened here. What? Like, you all tried out Combo Shurinui and you don't want to play it anymore? What about Meta Weekly 146, okay? There, why did it reverse? What? There were four, there were more Combo Shurin, oh my Jesus, are you serious? So this was last week. Last week, 14 Combo Shurinui, eight Control Shurinui, and now this week, we went back. We swapped back to control. We had to sit on our back row. We felt so much more safer with the back row. We, we're in a Christron meta. Christron, Christrons are here and they are really top tier. So starting off with the top two players, we got Cosmic Flare with the level duplication. Control Shard Nui. We're gonna look at the extra deck. It looks quite standard here. Moving on to, boom, just like that, level duplication. Now, a lot of people are upset about Shurinui, and I thought that a good way to nerf Shurinui many, many months ago when predicting the ban list, I said that you could put the Spectral Sword to two and put the Sun Saga to two. So they could only play one Spectral Sword and one Sun Saga, and then you would unlimit the Squire. I feel like that would force players to have to play the deck a bit differently. They would have to play Shade. I mean, they're gonna play just one, one tuner, that'd be insane, right? They wouldn't do that. And then your number one player, Psycho P going undefeated 10 in O. 10 in O undefeated with Magician Girls. And then we, what the decade is a what? Let's hide that, thank you. And yeah, Gaga Samurai, nice. Megalith Advanced. <laughs> advanced Ritual Art Megalith? Are you kidding me? Duptron, Duptron. This is the standard way. This is, I believe, card for card, exactly what the deck type breakdown has on the website. If we go to the tier list and we go to Chris Strons, and we go to the tournament breakdown, this is how it's being played. This is how it is being played. See, this is only 32%. And then here's a sample deck of how it's being played. Instead of the Fiend of Chains, he is playing Lance. Very close to the top sample deck. Very good. And we have Cyber Dragon. Level dupe, TDs. Level dupe in no charge light brigade. Very good. That's what I like to see. Again, we have Kristron deck. Uh-huh, yes. Level dupe, Kristron, triple lance, triple cosmic, super standard. 
Blue Eyes White Dragon, 20 card. A lot of people like to play this deck more than 20 cards. Mythic Whale, Whale, Whale. Not duping. Trying to win games with the C, Stealth Attack. If your opponent doesn't have Cosmic Cyclone, it's a free win. Ooh, nice. Having the side extra and main in one picture, I love to see it. The way to play Dark Magician, that's the way. Level dupe. Looking like the others. Draw Sense Dark. Another way to play the Invoked Magician Girls. Then we got Black Wings of the main deck. Necro Valley, search it with the Ancient Fairy Dragon. Wow, Dragoonity with the Spiritualism. <laughs> That's like a free-to-play Cosmic Cyclone. It will return a set card back to the hand. Level dupe. Dupe is the way. Level more level dupe. Are they gonna nerf level dupe with how many different decks are playing it? We got Sure Nui and Christron's playing the dupe. Level Aug. Combo Sure Nui. I love the needle ceilings. Katone. More dupe. More dupe. Dupe blurry Sure Nui with the Liberty at last. What does that even do? I think you return two cards in the fields. Let's look at that. It's Liberty, right? Liberty at last. When a monster is destroyed by battle, target two face-up monsters, shuffle them back into the deck. Wow. Okay. Restart Karakuri. Got to play seven spells and seven traps to even be able to use restart. Sure a dupe, but playing augmentation. So the deckless name is a lie. Sure knew, oh, let's not read that name. Thank you. Balance Gokies. Guaranteed monster spell and trap in the opening hand. Now by playing 22 cards, he's actually not guaranteed a spell. Allured by darkness with a gold Sark. I'm so happy to see that they're not playing Charge Light Brigade. Wow. Make sure you yoink this. D draw invoke droids. Not playing Magician Girl. Restart Car Curry. I like the shed with a face up defense Car Curry. Negate a spell or trap. It's lit. Dupe runs. And the final deck being another. Well, this time we got the Charge Light Brigade. Light Sworn Thunder Dragons. So don't think that the Gold Sark way is the only way to play. Very nice. Thick deck.